Well, hi guys, you're here once again with Barry and I uh, just got done working in the garden with Leanne. Uh, we're, we're making a nice uh, fruit and vegetable garden behind the house here. Anyway, so uh, I have a few minutes. I want to share something. Instead of the same mundane about was it right invading somebody's house or was it wrong? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's getting so ridiculous out there, honestly. Um, anybody with a rational mind it just, they find this challenging. But I want to bring your attention to something that I do think is newsworthy. And uh, how is this possible? Actually, it was sent in to me, and I do uh, actually uh, read quite a bit of Chris Martinson's work. I find it, uh, it's very well researched, and it's, it's worth the read. Uh, they have a website called Peak Prosperity, and I, I encourage everybody who's watching me now to just at least go over and check it out. You know from time to time, I have suggested certain sources of information for their accuracy, and I would say this fits that uh, category rather well. Anyway, moving on here, something I think is newsworthy rather than invading uh, people's homes for no apparent reason. How does the CDC, the Center of Disease Control, completely pool a 180 in next to no time? So, I mean, seriously, they've gone from, uh, and this is just Chris's, uh, this is Martinson's article about it, but there's several out there. So here, new COVID-19 guidance from the CDC focuses on individual decisions. Hmm. Okay. Those exposed to the virus are no longer required to quarantine. Okay. Now, look at what we've just been put through by false, false information and propaganda for two and a half years. Look at the amount of destruction to the economy, to families, the separation. I mean, if this isn't anything under an act of war, against citizenry, I don't know what is. So now all of a sudden that's completely 180. Next, unvaccinated people now have the same guidance as vaccinated people. Okay, after two and a half years, many countries going on their fourth shot. So here we have some nations that are still making things mandatory. We have others that are completely taking a 180. We have countries like India that's done their own research and have had a very, very low uh, percentage of any kind of adverse effects. Okay. You take a look at the highest vaccinated nations. Take a look, for example, as Israel. Take a look at the amount of reaction, to put it plainly, what they're receiving, okay? So apparently it seems to hold suit. The higher the percentage of vaccinated people, the higher percentage of the problems we're seeing now. Blockages, heart attacks, strokes, the cancers. So now continuing what they're saying on their 180, students can stay in class after being exposed to the virus. Another complete 180. Like, what is going on here? Uh, it is no longer recommended to screen those without symptoms. So, I don't know. You think maybe it has something to do with midterms coming up? Could be. I don't know. But I want to give my sincere respect to all of the subscribers over the years, and I know I'm not doing nearly the same amount of videos, it's become redundant, but when information is released that I think is worth your time, I'll bring it out to you. And this is one of them. How does it completely take a 180 in a matter of a couple of days after two and a half years of rigorous destruction? I'll leave that up to you, but... Um, I don't know, they now have something about sudden adult death syndrome. There's other information, over 280 athletes since this has been mandatory have collapsed on the field. Normally, they will show something of a round 
one every couple of years, two every couple of years, and it's just so sad. I feel terrible for the ones that have been coaxed into this, but I truly do commend the ones that took and took the, uh, I, I would say the, uh, the blunt of many people's dis discontentment and have stuck out to what their research and what their beliefs told them to do. Anyway, we'll continue on, but I encourage you to head on over to Peak Prosperity, give their site a look, as well as read that article. It's actually quite informative. We'll talk to you soon.